time for a check of the weather in our area. And Craig Allen has the details there. Last shot we saw was different than the one behind you now, but we had that view of the blue sky over those low hanging clouds. Right. And, and we're uh, assuring people that those blue skies are coming, Craig. They are. They're right above the low clouds right now, which is actually just fog at about a thousand feet. So it's, it's just about covering the tops of some of the buildings here. But that's going to be it. You'll see how it'll just thin out and just burn away. And it'll be hazy. It's going to have that look and feel of summer with the humidity up a little bit today. 68 degrees right now with an east northeast wind at about 10 miles per hour. The morning fog or low cloudiness will give way to sunshine. It stays dry right through Monday. And then we will start tracking some rain for the middle of the upcoming week. And that'll be, you know, we're indecisive as to how much rain, but I think it's best to say that the middle of the week will get our first chance of rain in more than a week and like week to 10 days. Uh, today we're going for our 80. Yesterday we hit 83. Today we're going for 80. This is still well above average for this time of year. And even Monday and Tuesday, we're still in the upper 70s at that point, and the humidity is still up as well. Now, this is not oppressive, but it, it's at a level where you could definitely feel it. And if you're along the coast, it's even a little bit higher. And then as we get on into Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, that uh, the, the dew point temperatures get into the mid 60s, that will feel a little bit more oppressive. Fortunately, like I said, it'll be in the 70s. It won't necessarily be, uh, you know, in the 80s with two points in the 70s like we had practically the whole month of July, right? So we've got a moderate risk of rip currents if the um, if the beach is still a part of your plans. It can be. The UV index is a six. That's about as high as it can get for this time of year anyway. Uh, the moderate risk of rip currents, as I said, wave heights running at around two to four feet. Absolutely no rain, no th lightning threat for today. So it's still a possibility. The water temperatures are in the upper 60s, low 70s, and uh, no cloudiness showing up around here, at least on the satellite picture. This is just low clouds and fog. And what we do see, though, very clearly is what's taking place with this is Francine's leftover rain now for over a week. This is a new system that's trying to develop into some kind of tropical system off the mid-Atlantic coastline. But this this high pressure area is blocking it. It's blocking everything because you can see it's pushing that rain that way. It's pushing this rain this way. It's not allowing it to come on up the coast. This is Tropical Storm Gordon before we go any further with our forecast because Gordon is just 40 miles per hour, gust of 50. It's out there in the Atlantic and it's, uh, you know, just for the fish to look at right now. But this storm right here that's developing has a 50% chance of turning into uh, more of a system as we go through the next couple of days. But will it come up the coast? Well, the Euro model here is showing that it does and it makes its way not only up but inland as well. So now now you're getting some pretty big range for a couple of days here, and this could total quite a bit, whereas the GFS model, uh, watch what it does. It's now changing. We've already seen the first little hints of a change and starting to lean more towards the euro. It does finally bring rain back up into the city, but still not nearly as much. You'll see this is going to waver back more towards the other model, the other model, the euro will start wavering towards that, and some Somewhere in the middle, they shall meet. The forecast for today, it's about 80 degrees, a great afternoon once we get rid of the morning fog. And then in the forecast for the next seven days, again, today's fine. Tomorrow, maybe just a touch more cloudiness, but it's still a, a, a great day. Tuesday has the first chance of a little bit of rain, and now it seems even more likely that rain is in the forecast. We're leaning towards that for Wednesday and Thursday. Now it's just a matter of um, how much. Which which of these weather models, oh, there are so many of them, not just those <laughs> two, believe me, but which of them is going to be correct in just how much rain we get for the area? All so. right. Throw the umbrellas in the backpacks then for the kids. By and all means, right? I, I yeah. would say let's 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 lean in that direction yeah. right now. Yeah. All right, Craig. Thank you okay. so much. Craig. Okay.